Luciana Cosmetic Chemist and the founder of Luisa Fanzani Cosmetics Lab. Uh, today, a little bit off topic, but I want to answer the question, um, how do I become a cosmetic uh, formulator or cosmetic chemist? This is because lately I have received many emails that uh, asking me um, how to start this, uh, this kind of career. So, um, of course, to, to, to formulate cosmetics, uh, the, you need to learn how to formulate, right? So how do you learn how to formulate? Um, the, there are essentially, in my opinion, there are three ways of doing this. Um, but they all share uh, one thing and it's just you learn uh, by doing it. So the first way will be uh, getting a job into a cosmetic uh, company where your co-workers uh, and uh, uh, they are going to show you how to make uh, formulas that are the, the company is producing and uh, especially if you can find someone uh, that has a lot of experience and uh, have him or her uh, kind of like as a mentor, um, this will uh, definitely help you. Um, step number, um, option number two will be um, taking like an online um, school. Uh, for example, the Formula Botanica School is very famous and um, there are many people that started uh, making their own products um, by following those uh, lessons provided by the school. So um, even though, um, what can I say? Um, I'm not against uh, online schools, uh, um, but at the same time, I think you still need um, a support and the guidance from uh, uh, someone that has more experience because these schools they um, they help you like with the basics uh, um, but they can only take you up to a certain level um, if you really want to 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 make a difference with your uh, um, cosmetic formula and step up uh, uh, the game of uh, uh, formulating um, you need to yes associate yourself and surround yourself with people that have more experience the th option number three that is the the most simple one is uh, um, take a, a recipe um, that you find online um, at this point if you're just starting out it doesn't matter whether the recipe is good or bad i just want you to um, take a recipe um, that is easy, simple to make, only few ingredients, and I want you to read the instruction and try to replicate uh, what you read. After you, um, I will start with something very, with the basics, so something very simple, for example, how to make a gel, how to make a basic uh, cream, how to make uh, um, oil, and just to get familiar with the properties of different uh, raw materials and ingredients. So at this point, I wouldn't worry too much about what kind of ingredients you are actually putting into your creams, serums, but I would just focus more on, on um, how to make the serum first before you actually um, start thinking about uh, uh, active ingredients. Um, for example, if you want to learn how to make a gel, um, I would start by making a gel that only contains the water, um, the gelling agent and uh, a preservative, nothing more. Um, but you really need to learn the process of making a gel and how to uh, form uh, this gel, what are the gelling agents. This is just a basic um, and just an example just to let you understand. So another question that always uh, pops up when I read the emails is that um, what kind of degree do I need to become a cosmetic chemist? Okay, so uh, of course, uh, cosmetic chemist, they will tell you that you need a degree in um, a major with uh, um, that has that is related to science. So it could be pharmacy. It could be chemistry, uh, it could be biology, um, it could be toxicology, um, 
physics even um, something that gives you just a little bit of background um, for science it's uh, important to uh, to say that if you there is a difference between um, formulating cosmetics for yourself and for your brand or and formulating cosmetics for um, big or uh, medium cosmetic companies so the difference is that if you want to formulate uh, products for yourself and start your own brand you actually don't need any kind of degree i mean as long as you know how to formulate uh, you're good to go um, otherwise but conversely uh, if you want to uh, to work for a cosmetic uh, uh, company um, they always uh, require um, at least a four years uh, degree that, like i said it could be chemistry physics uh, but it has to be something related to science I always say that you really need a degree only if you want to become a doctor, a pharmacist, uh, uh, an engineer, like a job where you just cannot do it without the degree. But with the, with the cosmetic chemist or cosmetic formulator, I don't really see it this way because I've been in contact with, uh, with people that have uh, no degree. I mean, they might have a degree, but it's not related to the, the scientific world field or the cosmetic field, and they still can formulate amazing products. And the reason why they can formulate these products so well is just because they have been doing this for several years. So they gain a lot of experience. I want to tell you more sometimes these people are actually even better formulators than official cosmetic chemists um, so it's the message that i want to convey is that um, there's not like only one way to become a cosmetic chemist it depends um, but if it's something that really uh, resonates uh, with you um, don't let the fact that you don't have a degree or you don't have the know-how stop you because everything can be learned and uh, um, I graduated as a pharmacist um, but when I came out from uh, pharmacy college I didn't know how to formulate cosmetics I mean of course I knew a lot of uh, chemistry but still I didn't know how to put together a, a cream um, I learned that as I actually got a job into uh, cosmetic in, in the cosmetic uh, factory where they, they show me how to make uh, uh, the cream. Then, of course, since I had the, the, the pharmacy background, the many drugs are uh, topically administered. Um, I, I, under, I, I, I knew the basics of like uh, delivery or skin penetration, skin barrier, skin physiology, but all these things, I mean, you just go to the library, grab a book, and um, you can uh, learn these things as well. So I hope this video uh, answers uh, all the, the questions that you had uh, on the topic. If that's not the case, uh, please let me know in the comment, and I'll see you next week with uh, another video. Thank you. Bye -bye.